And we're back with another episode of Sly 4 Thieves in Time. But before we do that, let's get ourselves some much needed new moves. And looks like Carmelita can get her hands on the stun shot. Though I'm not going to really buy that much. Though the most important one I'm really going to need is basically, come on, where is it? Sprint, no, moving pickpocket. Now we can continue moving during any pickpocket attempt. That's going to be very helpful. Anyway, let's just get started with the next episode. We're taking down a mechanical menace. And we're back. The only printer's items can be used in the gadget grid. That's for Sly and the others. And it looks like... Wait, why am I going in that direction? Anyway, let's just keep on our way. Fortunately, it isn't that far. But we gotta watch out for these mechanized wolf knights. Yeah, they do look like knights, but they're also robotic walls. Basically a mix of techno-organic. But I got a very bad feeling about this. Yeah, I know. I know some people are going to spoil me with all that. But please, for the sake of things, don't. Anyway, let's do it. As I told you, Bentley, a loathsome creature does indeed guard the castle. Well, if that's true, advanced geological theory indicates the only place this boat monster could hide is inside that cavern. Forsooth! Perhaps also because it is the only cavern in the area? Uh, right. If this thing exists at all, it all sounds like superstitious nonsense. You doubt the veracity of my tale? Then allow me to vanquish this evil beast and quell your disbelief! Whoa, wait a sec, Gallop. Just navigating that cave's interior could be hazardous to your health. Nay, Bentley. Fear not. I will show you the true valor of the Koopa name. Very, very overdramatic. What's his beef? I just don't get it. Ah, oh, man. Here's the cave entrance. Onward to conquest. Let's just get this over with. Carmelita, what are you doing? Relax, Ringtail. Just keeping tabs on the Dragon Slayer. I don't recall you watching my back on any jobs. Only when I'm trying to catch you. But I find Galath charming. He has a good heart. Even if he is a headstrong goof. Then you better get going before Sir Goof gets himself captured again. What's up with Sly? These murky caves conceal the villain's presence. I mean, seriously, what's with this guy? He's starting to be more like a jerk. Uh, I really don't get it. What the heck? Cave walls can be tricky, Gallop. Be careful. Man, whatever this thing is, this is not going to be pretty. Upward to glory. Yeah, upwards to glory indeed. Oh wait, I forgot. You can disconnect with the R2, with the triangle button. Now we gotta lower this down. But first things first, let's see if we can find anything here. And we gotta move quickly. And charge it up. Nice. Perhaps next time I should procure a more lightweight suit of armor. Oh really? You decided yourself that you would take this on. Let's do this. Oh yeah, we gotta disconnect. Then reconnect. The creature will soon feel my wrath. Oh boy, he's getting a bit trigger happy, I tell ya. He ain't like toothpick, that's for sure. So we gotta move fast. Oh wait, I forgot. Soon know the valor of the Coopers. Yeah, we know. We make this look easy. And there's actually a moat monster? We're supposed to find it? Oh boy, I don't like this. Not one bit. At least now I'm doing rather well. 
Aside from the impending monster battle. Well, you decided to go through with this. Not a, not me. And we go up. Sounds! This dragon is not flesh and bone, but iron and steel. Holy hand grenades, it's a robot! Gather! This monster is a giant machine! Yeah, a giant machine. Yet I ask myself, what the heck's going on? This is just bad. Very bad. And did Bentley make a Worms Armageddon reference? Now, foul demon, face the fury of Sir Gallus Cooper! Gallus, no! Oh, nice job. <laughs> Idiot. Hmm, mayhaps Sir Bentley had a point. Oh, well, that's terrific. Tin can with teeth. Let's see what you're really made of. Yep, looks like we got a boss fight going on. Gotta keep pressing that R1 button over and over and over again. Oh yeah, we gotta check out his other shots. We have a charge shot and a stun shot. But I'm sticking with auto fire. Yeah, because auto fire is the only thing that's gonna help us here. Oh great, I forgot. Oh yeah, she can actually jump while doing while moving around. That's clever. Alright, now let's get up there and deliver some major pain. Now he's blowing some major steam. We gotta keep on dishing the paint. We're gonna need it. And like that, now let's deliver more pain. Yeah, five shots at most. But it's only, like, deliver only part of it. Turns out we're not finished, and these things are back for more. Well, at least we drained half its health, and now it's going to keep on using the same attacks over and over again. How terrific. Mm -hmm. Now, let's deliver the last dose of pain for this head. I gotta admit, Carmelita does pretty good. Uh oh, laser laying, laser lines. At least they're not that deadly. And homing heat seekers. Oh, fuck. No, wait. I was supposed to, I was gonna swear, but. Ah! Nice, now I got some much needed help for this. That takes care of the middle. Only one left. Take that, you overgrown bucket of gold! Yeah, you tell him, Carmelita. Ouch. Oh wow, not that effective. Unfortunately, it's the last one, so... Bye bye <laughs> Can't 
can't say the same for Sir Galif. Alas and alack, I feel as though I have been ground into sausage. I... are you hurt, Sir Galif? Methinks I am still whole. I thank you, milady, but must confess, rescue by a fair damsel wounds me deepest. I think I understand. What do you say we make this our little secret? I would be thrice grateful and in your debt. What a fair and gracious maid you are, Carmelita. I think I like the sound of that. Nice. We're done here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.